oftentimes firefighters stretch short of the objective and it's not always clear as to why. This is one of the main things that can happen. The firefighter uses the attack length as travel hose. The attack length should be brought right up to the occupancy door and then flaked out from there. It should not be dropped prior to getting to the door and used to reach the door. In this sequence, the firefighter has stretched short of his objective. He has dropped his lead length and used it for travel to the front door. Once inside, he will not have the 50 feet of hose to traverse the apartment. In this sequence, the firefighter has brought his lead length to the front door. This amount of hose will be used to go through the occupancy. He flakes out the hose in line with the front door, creating a loop in the hose. This will assist him with his forward momentum into the occupancy. Setting up your lead length for your entry into the fire occupancy is very important. We right now have the hose lined up in a direct line of sight for the nozzle firefighter and in a simple U-shaped layout. That U will play out perfectly and give us plenty of hose to advance quickly through the fire occupancy. With the line opposite the entrance door flaked into a nice U-shape, the nozzle team will be able to go directly into the fire occupancy, pulling on the hose. By having it in a straight line, this will be less friction involved and it will allow for a smoother advance into the fire occupancy. If space allows, try and get your U approximately 25 feet from the doorway. This will allow half the length to go into the fire occupancy without making any turns whatsoever, speeding up your advance and extinguishment. If the hose is laid out perpendicular to the fire occupancy door, it's often difficult to see if it's flaked out properly. When the line is kept in line of sight with the nozzle firefighter, this assures them that they have the hose they need to get into the fire occupancy. Plus, when the line is flaked out perpendicular to the occupancy and the direction of where you're pulling it, there's a lot more friction involved, making it more difficult to stretch. So remember, it's very important to bring the lead length as close as possible to the door to the fire area. This way you're guaranteed of at least 50 feet of working hose to make it through the occupancy.